Dear friend, picture yourself at the edge of a serene, expansive desert, its horizon stretching endlessly. As you observe the vastness, you notice how each grain of sand is unique, yet also a part of the greater whole. Similarly, we are individual expressions of universal consciousness, but many of us remain confined within the limits of our egos. Today, let us explore together the reason why the ego must die in order to attain true enlightenment. The Illusion of the Ego The ego, dear seeker, is a construct of the mind. It is the collection of thoughts, memories and identifications that we mistake for our true self. The ego tells us, I am this body, I am this name, I am these possessions, these achievements. Yet this sense of self is but a shadow, a pale reflection of the boundless radiant being that you truly are. Consider the wisdom of the ancient scriptures. In the Bible, Jesus teaches us the importance of humility and surrendering the ego when he says, For whoever wants to save their life will lose it, but whoever loses their life for me will find it. Matthew 16.25 this profound statement invites us to look beyond our limited sense of self and to discover the divine essence within. Similarly, the Bhagavad Gita, another timeless spiritual text, reveals, the wise see that there is action in the midst of inaction and inaction in the midst of action. Their consciousness is unified and every act is done with complete awareness. Here, the Bhagavad Gita encourages us to transcend the ego and engage with life from a place of pure, undivided awareness. The Chains of the Ego The ego binds us with invisible chains. It keeps us tethered to a cycle of desires, fears and judgments. It whispers in our ears that we are separate from others, fostering feelings of isolation and competition. The ego thrives on comparison and attachment, constantly seeking validation and approval from the external world. Have you ever noticed how the ego is never satisfied? No matter how much success, wealth or recognition we attain, there is always a lingering sense of lack, a void that cannot be filled. This is because the ego's desires are insatiable. They are like a bottomless pit that can never be fully satiated. The philosopher Søren Kierkegaard once wrote, The most common form of despair is not being who you are. The ego, by convincing us that we are our roles, possessions and titles, leads us away from our authentic self. It creates a false sense of identity, a facade that prevents us from experiencing the true depth of our being. The Death of the Ego To be enlightened, we must let go of the ego. This does not mean eradicating it completely, for the ego has a practical function in navigating the world. Instead, it means disidentifying from it, seeing it for what it truly is, a tool, not the master. Buddha, the enlightened one, taught the practice of mindfulness and meditation as a path to transcend the ego. By observing our thoughts and emotions without attachment, we begin to see the transient nature of our experiences. We realize that we are the witness, the silent observer, beyond the ever-changing phenomena of the mind. Think of a clear blue sky. The ego is like the clouds that drift across it, sometimes dark and stormy, sometimes light and fluffy. But no matter how many clouds there are, the sky itself remains untouched vast and unchanging. In the same way, your true self is the clear sky, ever present and unblemished by the passing clouds of thoughts and emotions. The blossoming of true self. As we dissolve the ego, what emerges is our true self, a state of pure awareness, love and compassion. This is not an abstract concept. It is a living reality experienced by many spiritual masters and seekers throughout history. Consider the example of St. Francis of Assisi, who renounced his wealth and status to live a life of simplicity and service. In his humility, 
He found a profound connection with all of creation, seeing the divine in every being and every moment. His famous prayer, Lord, make me an instrument of your peace, reflects a heart that has transcended the ego and is attuned to the higher consciousness. The phrase, die before you die, is attributed to the Prophet Muhammad. Though it has been popularized and widely quoted in Sufi literature, including the works of Rumi. This expression encapsulates the Sufi concept of experiencing a metaphorical death of the ego and worldly attachments in order to achieve spiritual enlightenment and a deeper connection with the divine. The path to enlightenment. Enlightenment is not a distant goal attainable only by a select few. It is the natural state of our being, obscured by the layers of ego. The journey to enlightenment is a process of shedding these layers, of waking up to our true nature. Begin with self-inquiry. Ask yourself, who am I? Not as a rhetorical question, but as a deep, sincere investigation. Observe the thoughts and feelings that arise and see if you can find the one who is thinking and feeling. You will find that there is no solid, unchanging entity there, only awareness itself. Meditation is another powerful practice. Sit in stillness and observe your breath. As thoughts come and go, simply watch them without attachment. Over time, you will develop a sense of spaciousness, a realization that you are the awareness in which all thoughts and sensations arise and dissolve. Service to others is also a potent means of transcending the ego. When we act selflessly, we connect with the oneness of all life. In serving others, we serve ourselves, for in the deepest sense, there is no separation between the two. The death of the ego is not a loss, but a liberation. It is the shedding of a heavy cloak that has obscured your inner light. By letting go of the ego, you step into the fullness of your being, into a state of boundless love and peace. As you walk this path, remember that you are not alone. Countless souls have walked this journey before you, and countless more will follow. You are part of a vast, interconnected tapestry of life, each thread woven with care and purpose. So, take a deep breath, feel the warmth of the sun on your face, and trust that you are exactly where you need to be. The ocean of consciousness awaits you, ready to embrace you in its infinite depths. Let go of the ego and let your true self shine.